I'm going to be installing an eight piece ring alarm home security system. Keep watching the video. Welcome back. It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com, and on this channel, we do do-it-yourself videos, product reviews, vacation videos, and so much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I've got this eight-piece ring alarm home security system. We're going to be doing an install in this house with sensors on the doors, the windows, and uh, it's gonna be really excellent. I really love these products, of course. Check out my other videos, um, and you can see all the other videos that I do for Ring. So first, let's unbox this, and let's see what we got inside. Okay. Okay, we got the seal, we're just gonna open it. Okay, so first we got our literature. We're gonna have our user manual, and that's gonna be very important. We've got our sticker that uh, you can warn uh, people that uh, you can place on your door or window to show that you have a ring alarm, uh, ring protection. Okay, next we have this is the brain. This is, of course, going to be your um, your siren, your main frame. This is everything that's going to be connected. Your uh, door and window sensors are going to be connected um, and are going to be talking to this. This is what is going to be connected to your router, either by Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. Let's put this aside. Okay. Next we have the keypad, and this is what you're going to be using to control the alarm um, with your keypad or on your phone, both work. You can also get extra keypads. This is where you can activate, you can uh, deactivate the alarm or you can uh, turn the alarm um, on and be at home, uh, say if you're sleeping. Uh, of course, we got the mountain bracket for that. Let's lift up the rest in here. Okay, and we got the rest of our components. Let's see what we got here. Okay, these are the power adapters for the uh, base station. So that's gonna go with that. This is our keypad adapter. This is uh, what's going to charge, or you can either leave this plugged in uh, and this is going to be for the keypad. Here we have a motion detector, <clears throat> and you're gonna wanna place this, uh, so if you're, ideally you're gonna put this in the living room, and that's going to protect the, uh, the entire floor, living space area, and of course we got uh, two-sided double tape, you can, uh, you can do whatever you want, you can use screws, um, or double-sided tape to apply that. So there's our motion detector there. Here we have a range extender. Now, depending on your setup, you may or may not need to use this. Uh, this is definitely um, a, a requirement for larger homes. So this extender just literally plugs in the wall and it's going to extend the range uh, from your base station uh, it's going to talk to the uh, extender, and this is going to go to your sensors, your motion sensors, or your door and window sensors. So you may or may not need to use the range extender, uh, but first you'll see how um, how much Wi-Fi or reception that you have uh, for that. So that's uh, we'll, we'll get to that later on in the install. Okay, here's our contact sensors. Got uh, four of these, and I'll open one of these up. Get my nail in there. Let's try one of these here. Okay, 
And this is what <clears throat> you can use on a door or a window. And it uh, works very easily. Basically, it just works with uh, uh, magnetic inside the device here. Uh, and you can install these with uh, double-sided tape or screws. Uh, the tape, I must say, is very, very strong. I do have another video where I've installed this before, and it is very much sufficient. Um, and also in the uh, other video, you notice, uh, if you check out that video too as well, Ring actually made these sensors much, much, much smaller. The original sensors that I was using were quite larger. They were much larger in the, um, the first generation alarm. So uh, yeah, these, these ones, we've got four of these to use. You can also buy extra uh, sensors um, and you can also purchase those as well as you need those. So the next step, let's uh, let's get started. So if you look at your user manual, the first thing you need to do is you need to get the Ring Always Home app from the Google Play uh, or the Apple Store. And uh, if you already have an account, you can log in. If not, you have to create an account. So you're going to type in your name, your last name. You're going to go through your setup uh, process there and uh, create um, create an account by using an email. And once you do that, you can get to the uh, the first step of setting up the alarm. Now that we have the Ring app at home set up on the phone on the device that we're going to be using for this alarm, I'm going to be taking the base station and I'm going to be just installing the base station first before I get set up on the phone. Uh, because you're, you're, this is definitely going to be the first step. You're going to have to uh, put this on the wall or um, on a table, wherever you're going to be putting the base station. Um, this is the brain and your siren of the home security system. So uh, I'm just taking the back of the base station. I have two screws, any kind of flat uh, pan, head or pan head screws. I'm just going to put them in. I'm not going to drill yet because I want to know where I'm drilling. So I'm just going to put a little pressure on these screws. I'm going to put... Um, the base station and the screws up against the wall and I'm just going to press a little bit just to make a mark on the wall and that's where I'm going to drill. So that's a little bit uh, a little bit of a secret just to make it a little bit uh, uh, quicker. Um, some kits uh, will have an insulation kit, a piece of paper. Uh, this one doesn't so you're going to have to do, uh, do it this way. So I'm just going to center the screws. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect but uh, roughly where it's going to go and uh, I'm just going to press up against the wall, I'm going to leave a little bit of room here because um, we're going to put this in the corner here. I'm just going to press a little bit firm to make a mark on the wall. And there we go. I can see two dots and that's where I'm going to install this. So I've already uh, screwed one screw in and I'm going to screw the other screw in. There's two ways of doing this. You can just use the screws. It's actually uh, holding up really well. We're not hanging anything really heavy on here. So whether you're using a drywall screw or whatever kind of screw you're using, this is a very light uh, device. So if the screw is sufficient in the wall, then you won't have to use any plugs. If you want to use plugs, then just uh, where the holes are, you're gonna drill that out, apply the plug, and then put the uh, screw in. So I'm just gonna use my uh, drill and I'm just gonna go in you want to leave a little bit of space because you're going to have to seat the base station on after. Okay. okay, we can just adjust that with your hands. And the base station is going to go on right after. So right before I'm ready to hang the base station on the wall, uh, I have my power adapter. You're going to have to plug that in first so that the base station sits flush against the wall. So I'm just going to take the uh, DC adapter, plug that in, and you'll see on the back of the base station you have little, uh, little grooves. And I'm just going to press the wire into the grooves, and that way the base station will be flush against the wall. And of course, uh, you want to make sure you have it located somewhere where you have a plug. Uh, if not, then you'll have to use a, an extension cord. Okay, so now I'm just going to line it up with the screws. Second there. And if you don't get it right way, you may have to back out some of the uh, screws. Okay. Like so.
Now that our base station is installed, we're going to go back to our app and we're going to click set up a ring device. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. You can see doorbells, security cameras, chimes, security, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be setting up security. So we're going to click that. All right, let's first set up your location. If you haven't done this before, this is where you have to put in your address. It has to uh, know where you are. So we're going to add a new location. And uh, there's going to be some stuff to fill out there. You can see country, address, uh, city. So you'll have to fill that out. Okay, we just finished uh, inputting the address so it knows our location. It's just telling me now to choose a good spot for the base station. I'm going ahead uh, and hit continue. Connect your base station to the Ring app. Press the pairing button on the rear of your base station. When the LED light uh, ring on top starts to spin, uh, tap Find My Base Station. So before I hit this, I've got to go over to the base station and I'm gonna tap uh, that uh, pairing. Okay, so I'm up on the ladder. I'm uh, gonna press the pairing button. Okay, you see it's spinning. And now I'm gonna go Find My Base Station. Uh, we're going to allow uh, Ring to use the Bluetooth. Just click OK. And now it's searching for the base station. And it's connecting. Uh, do you want to continue with Ethernet or Wi-Fi setup? We're going to use Wi-Fi. And now we have to select the, uh, the Wi-Fi network. OK. And now it is successfully connected. So we're going to hit Continue. So right now, uh, before you get to this uh, stage where it's um, updating and installing, it's going to ask you a couple questions if you want uh, home monitoring and if the location where you're installing it is a home or business. So just go through the setup of that. You can either choose at that time um, yes to monitoring or you can just uh, turn it into self-monitoring mode uh, for the time being or skip the section and uh, continue installing your alarm. The next step is we're going to install the keypad. So in the kit you have the mounting bracket. Uh, that's all you're going to need for the first step. You just want to mark on the wall, assuming you're putting it on a wall. Um, just use a pen or pencil. Just mark the holes. It comes with three screws and three plugs. So you can use that to mount it uh, if you're choosing to mount it. So I'm going to put it about center. And uh, of course there's a plug underneath so I don't have to worry about charging it. It's gonna be uh, constant power all the time. And I'm just gonna mark um, where I'm going to be screwing just the centers on the three holes. And then that's where I'm going to be uh, putting the screws in. Okay, so I'm ready to uh, apply and install the bracket to the wall. In the pouch, you're gonna see you've got uh, three screws, three plugs, and a pin. Uh, this pin is used to uh, reset uh, the keypad, so you wanna hang on to this and put that aside. Um, you may or may not want to use the plugs, that's up to you, depending on uh, how your installation is going. Um, so let's, uh, let's try to install the screws into the uh, wall. And we're just gonna line it up with the marks we made. And I'm just gonna screw into the wall just with a Phillips screwdriver. And it's going in quite nicely. Now that the bracket is on the wall, I'm going to take the ring keypad and the power adapter. I'm going to apply the uh, power adapter in, the plug. And as soon as that's plugged in, I'm just gonna tuck the wire in. Okay. And we're running the wire down, like so. And this just sits, slides right into place. plug it in and 
I can tidy up the wire after. Now the keypad is plugged in and powered on, as you can see by the uh, LED indicating that uh, it is charging the battery uh, internally. So we see the base station's online, the ring al uh, alarm keypad is now online. Um, the next thing to do is to uh, set up um, if you need the extender, we're going to do that last, that's only if you need to. The next thing to do is to set up the sensors and you can see they're all ready to go. Um, this uh, Ring Home Alarm System is very, very easy. I must say it's even easier than the first generation that they came out with. Um, it's really plug and play. So um, we're just going to go ahead and start setting up the uh, sensors next. Next, I'm going to be installing the motion sensor. Um, so here's the ring motion sensor, and if you flip it around on the back, you're gonna see it's got, uh, on the back you have two strip tapes, and on the corners you have two strip tapes. This is uh, for if you were applying it on a wall, so you would be using the stick tapes on the back, and we're gonna be applying this in a corner. We're gonna be catching uh, everything, so we're gonna be using uh, these two um, stick tapes and it's going to be pressed up against both sides of the wall and you'll see a little flap, a little arrow. As soon as you pull this, that's going to activate the motion sensor battery inside. So once you get it set up, pull the tab and the uh, motion sensor is going to be activated. So first thing I do, I'm going to pull the stick tapes off of the sides and I'm going to uh, apply that to the wall. They're very sticky. You don't have to worry about uh, using any screws. Just make sure the wall is free of grease and debris or any kind of dirt and uh, you'll be fine. So I'm just gonna put that right up. I'm gonna leave a couple of inches from the top, about two inches, and I want it somewhere around center there. It's gonna be on a uh, 45 degree angle. And I'm pressing firmly up against the wall. like so. Now I'm going to pull the tab out and the motion sensor will be activated. So the uh, motion sensor is now activated. You can even see we're already moving around so motion is detected. There's, a, there's something else that you can also do. You can click on the sensor and rename the sensor. So we just installed the uh, motion sensor, so I'm going to click on this. I'll show you what you what you can do. So here you can see the battery life, motion alerts, uh, on, off. We can go through that setup after, and uh, what you can do is just click on the uh, the setup, and you can see the name. So I want to name this. Um, you know, you can name it motion, you can name it living room, whatever you want to uh, call it. So I'm going to change the name. And uh, for now, I'm just going to put uh, living room. And I'm going to click save. And it's saved. So now I know that that is now uh, living room is my motion. And that'll show up on the list right there. So next, I'm going to install the uh, door sensors. Okay, so I'm at the front door. And this is the main sensor. This is uh, going to be very important to make sure that, uh, that it's installed correctly. Now, if you don't have any crown molding like this, I'm in a bit of a uh, sticky situation, but nothing that can't be fixed. If the door is flush with your frame or wall, uh, let's just imagine this was installed on the uh, frame or wall. You need it to be flush so that these, uh, the sensor and the uh, magnetic part line up. And it's got to go about, uh, um, it can't be more than an inch, closer the better, but um, you don't want it to be more than an inch. So really I need to be installing it like this, but this isn't going to work because these are not meeting up, so therefore the sensor won't work. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to mark out on the frame and I'm going to cut out a piece of the frame and I'm going to recess the sensor in so that this essentially will meet up. This will be back here and the sensor will read the magnet. So uh, this is just a little tip. If you have to do that, you may run into this. You'll have to do a little bit of uh, do-it-yourself 
and notch out a little piece of the frame. Um, the other thing what you could do too, you could also build up a piece on the sensor and have that come out, but this is not gonna sit flush. So I'm gonna cut this out and that'll be uh, sufficient. So hopefully you guys don't have to do that, um, but if you do, that's what I'm gonna have to do and I'll show, you, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing to do that. So I'm just at the front door. I have a flat head screwdriver and a hammer and I'm just gonna chisel my way around the door frame. Uh, it's just the uh, molding uh, to break that out to recess the sensor in. So now I've just pulled the battery tab off the sensor and uh, you can see it, uh, it'll work there. You can hear it on the base station. So now I'm just gonna install it. I'm gonna peel the uh, double-sided stick tape off and I'm going to firmly press that against the frame and then that's going to be uh, installed. I'm gonna do the same thing for the magnet. That's going to go on the door side. And then we can check this by opening the door to make sure that it activates the sensor. And we know it does. And it's also connected to the ring app. Now I'm going to be installing a, another sensor on a window. So these are cranked style windows. It's a uh, the main floor washroom. So I'm just going to unlock the window. To get to where I'm going to install, I have to take out the um, screen. So I'm going to do that like so. that aside and before you install the sensors you want to make sure that you clean the uh, window really well so that the uh, the contact tape will uh, stick so now I'm ready to install the sensor I'm going to be putting the sensor right at the bottom of the door the good thing with these uh, ring sensors is they don't actually have to be close together because right now it's reading the sensor and it's uh, when I pull it away, you can hear that it is reading the sensor. So that's great. That's how uh, that shows you the power um, in these ring sensors. The uh, magnetic uh, is really strong, so uh, that's great. That uh, just makes for uh, installation um, quite easy. And uh, in, in in terms of like the window, there I don't really have much room, so this way. It works just so perfect. I can place the uh, sensor up on the window and the frame and it works perfect. So I'm gonna put it right at the bottom here. We use the uh, stick tape, of course. Press firmly there. And I'll do the same thing on the uh, magnetic side. Okay. And we're gonna put this right on the window like so. And now we're going to test it. I'm going to unroll the window and we're going to see if it activates. And you can hear on the base station it did. If you're interested in possibly purchasing one of these home alarm systems, I'm going to leave a link in the video description down below for you to do that. So now I've completed the installation of all the sensors, of the doors and windows. I've only shown you two. I've done the front door uh, and you saw me do the window sensor, but I also did two additional doors and all the other uh, windows on the, uh, the 
uh, helps here. So if you need some additional sensors, you can also purchase those as well through Amazon or your local store as well. And uh, you can add as many sensors as you want, as many different keypads as you want, and you can even add additional uh, things. Check out the Ring's uh, website uh, for that as well, and then check out the links in the video description below. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to adjust all the system settings and uh, also put a four digit password on your keypad. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your system settings on um, the top left hand corner of your screen and that's going to take you uh, down to usernames and you're going to click on your username and then you're going to enter a four digit passcode and re-enter that passcode and once you click done and save it'll uh, now be saved on the keypad. So let's uh, let's just try to see if this works. We used one, two, three, four as a uh, as a temporary passcode. So let's try to arm the system and see if it works. And we're gonna go arm away. Exit delay started. Okay, so we know that's uh, that's gonna work. And to disarm, we're just gonna enter in the password and disarm. Disarmed. And the same thing if you were armed and home. And then we'll disarm that. Disarmed. Now we're going to check to make sure that uh, the system will uh, sound if uh, the door is breached. So we're going to uh, arm the system. You can either do it by the keypad or you can do it just with a touch of the button on your phone. Exit delay started. So now there's an exit delay. It's defaulted at 60 seconds. You can change that. And the same thing is when you enter, the alarm will give you... Uh, defaulted 60 seconds. Um, I set it up for six, uh, 30 seconds, but you can set that to zero, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, even longer if you wish. Away and armed. Okay, so now the system is armed. And that means that nobody should be uh, in the house right now. That means all your sensors, including your motion, will be activated if something is triggered. So let's uh, breach the front door. Let's open the front door and see if the... Uh... Entry delay started. Okay, so the same thing goes. This means that uh, whether you have entered in or someone has broken into your house, uh, it's doing a 30-second countdown before the uh, alarm goes off. And then... Uh, now is the time you would enter in the code or disarm it from your phone, otherwise the uh, alarm will sound. Disarmed. Last but not least, the last thing you want to do is just go through your list and uh, you can select different uh, items to customize. And you can see we're looking at the base station. So things like uh, audio setting, you can adjust your volume, um, you know, shared users, LED light set, uh, settings, test your siren, all kinds of things you can do there. Um, go through the settings and you can do that for the same thing for the other devices, same thing with the keypad, um, you know, power saver mode that's uh that's turned off if you activate that on um the the led display won't light up when there's um uh when it's not dark so i like to keep that off um, but yeah you can go through the settings and uh, check it out you can use the user manual to also see what uh, each function does you can click on every single uh, one there you can check out the sensor you can see the battery life it's a uh, pretty straightforward uh, but just take your time and go through the uh, app and go through each uh, setting now the only thing left to do is I'm going to put this identification sticker on the window just to identify that this premises is protected by Ring. Don't forget to check out the link in the video description if you're interested in maybe uh, checking out one of these wonderful home alarm systems and you can do just that on Amazon. That's it. Just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos, share the video like the video, and leave a comment down below. And we'll see you next time. Jeff Lepard, jefflepard.com. Take care, guys. See you next time.